Welcome to another episode of Unwind from the Grind. I am your host, Natasha Simona. Relax with me for a moment while we talk entertainment news and some other stuff with a conscience and of course, some fun. Super huge congratulations to Houston rapper, Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion graduated today from TSU, that is Texan South, Texas Southern University. Um, this morning, she's quoted on her Twitter page saying, good morning, hotties, it's graduation day, hashtag Megan the graduate. Um, Megan has had an interesting year or two, um, and I'm just so happy that she stayed focused on her academics and her career and and got this done um you can see a bunch of photos circling around the internet she just looks so gorgeous and happy wouldn't you that's a really big accomplishment so um congratulations megan i'm happy for you um coming out of tsu is an awesome alum by the name of michael strahan michael strahan um He's like out of this world and he finally got out of here. His trip to outer space was delayed because of um, weather infractions in Texas. And today was the day he lifted off on the Blue Origin owned by Jeff Bezos. Um, he was accompanied by five other new astronauts totaling out to six. And um, fun fact, Michael graduated from TSU back in 1993. Huh, that was 28 years ago, Michael. When you were sitting there at TSU, running those really cool plays to make you like the greatest football player ever. Uh-huh, I said it. Did you think you were gonna go to outer, outer space? Um, congratulations on that trip. When Michael touched down, he was greeted by his girlfriend, Kayla Quick, um, and also his Smack Entertainment partners were there to greet the new astronaut. <laughs> um, Michael was in orbit for 11 minutes. So during those 11 minutes, Michael, what did you see? I'm wondering, like, are there are there really aliens? Do the aliens live up there? Like, what could you have possibly seen, like, in the moments of 11 minutes floating around? Um, also on the ship was Laura Shepard Churchley. She's the daughter of the first American to go to space. Alan Shepard was her father. And cool thing about that trip for her was she almost flew um, the exact flight profile as her dad. So that's something really awesome to just kind of put on your bucket list of life. Um, Jeff Bezos gave wings to all of the new astronauts that stepped foot off of his Blue Origin spacecraft. That's got to be something cool. You know, I don't even want to go on roller coasters anymore. I'm such a fraidy cat. So I can't imagine like getting an, into a, a little tube circular thing being strapped in. And I'm claustrophobic. So that really wouldn't work out well for me. So I'm living vicariously through Michael Strahan and his buddies that took flight. Um... Before I go, today is National App Day. What does that mean? I, what do any of these national days mean? I think I want to create a national, a national Natasha Simona Day. It's going to be May 10th because that's my birthday. So May 10th is going to be National Natasha Simona Day. I declared it first. Anyway, today is National App Day. It encourages, uh, it, it, it's, it's really a day to encourage, encourage all of us um, of all the possibilities that apps afford us. I don't know about you, but I have an app for everything. I have an app for my health. I have an app to wake me up. I have an app to put me to sleep. I have an app for my scheduling, for me and my children. I have an app for my, actually, I have an app for my car just in case I don't lock it or anything happens to it. I've literally, <laughs> I'm an app junkie. Are you an app junkie like me? Um, this day was created back in 2017 um, by Platinum Media, Platinum Edge Media and CJ Thompson. So like, were they sitting down in an office someday and looking at each other and they're like, all the partners are sitting at the, at the coffee table and they're like, we're going to declare today to be National App Day. Like, what, what, what was that about? Um, app surfaced back in 2007 um, with Apple and their iOS 2, I believe. Um, guess what? They only started out with 500 apps. It sounds like a lot, but when you think about it today, it's like 500 apps is nothing. Today, do you know how many apps there are today? Over 3 million. So started from the bottom with 500, and now there's over 3 million um, between Apple and Android combined. So how about that to scroll through and try to pick your favorite apps? But I do want to know what apps you use to help just run your life, because that's really what apps do, run our lives. Imagine the power that these things hold. Um, anyway, po com comment and let me know your favorite apps and what you use it for. Um, that would be something fun for me to load up in my library of apps. Like I need another one. 
You wanna know what my favorite app is? Ironically, uh, a nod to Jeff Bezos. It's the Amazon app. Yep, I love the Amazon app. I've gotten in lots of trouble on the Amazon app, but we won't say that. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting out of here. This is Unwind from the Grind. I am your host, Natasha Simona. I'll see you later.